Last night we were talking about Bill Gates's. Uh... Oh, good lord! He wants to put this micronized calcium carbonate up into the air. I guess that's a competitor. And he has no idea what it's going to do. Now, calcium carbonate, I will tell you this, lets it transmits 95 to 97% of the light. And that's done what's called in an integrated sphere, and we've done all those studies, but that's what it does. And so you grind the calcium carbonate, and I would imagine he's not going to be putting boulders up there. He wants to put very finely ground calcium carbonate up there to defract or do something with the light. Well, he's, he's using the wrong compound, number one. I don't know what he's thinking. And he certainly doesn't understand plant science. Number two, you've got uh, Bill Gates and other folks trying to take CO2 out of the air and put it in the ground. And after several thousand years, it makes calcium carbonate. Okay. Okay, well, that's a great idea, but what we do with our calcium carbonate, we take it out of the ground, we put it on plants, they lose their leaves, it falls to the ground, and it completes a cycle. You know, we're... we're, we're... So we put it back into the ground. So competitively... I don't know, uh, there's been people that have tried waxes, there's people that have tried shellacs and um, all kinds of things, and it's not accepted in agriculture, and so it's not gonna be accepted in forestry. That, I'm sorry I didn't answer that very well for you. No, it makes sense, it does make sense. If you like what you see, you can watch the full episode right here. When you get there, please like and subscribe to the channel. What is this going to cost the government to do if, if they were to implement this and they were to spray 250 million acres of forest? What is that going to cost the government? In the beginning, because our facilities out in Oregon, which has a ton of federal ground, it would probably cost somewhere between $50 and $100 an acre. But as you produce this in quantity and in different locations, that could very well be a total cost of $50 an acre or less. $50 an acre or less? And right. Nobody's, in the, in the nobody's future. looking at this from the government yet. No, now that the, the plant, the new plant in, uh, that takes carbon out of the air, I guess there's one being built in Australia, there's one in Iceland that is now working, is $1,000 a ton to take the CO2 out of the air. But they don't put any oxygen back. You know, plants are really unique. They take the carbon out of the air. You can take a ton per acre out of the air, but you're going to put four times its weight of clean oxygen back in the air. And these guys with wanting to catch the CO2 and put it in the ground and form calcium carbonate in a million years, well, that's a great idea, but it's a tremendous cost. Would so bear be faster as oh, well? Overnight. The next day, you've helped the plant and the plants, you know, it takes a season for all that to grow, but that doesn't matter. It starts working the next day. So your product is faster, it's safer, and it also has all these other extra benefits to it. Right, it comes from the earth and we put it back And on it's the cheaper. Earth. Yeah. And nobody's looking at it. Yeah, calcium carbonate, the, the, the biggest use for calcium carbonate today is cement. And we have lots of it around. Yeah, we do. And calcium is one of the most abundant minerals in the earth. There's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Would putting carbon into the ground with the, uh, the Bill Gates method, would that, would that be harmful in any way? I don't see it uh, being harmful because carbon does, uh, carbon dioxide resides in the ground. And they do a lot of things in farming. Uh, to digress back on carbon capture competitor, they're trying to do no-till farming all across the United States. The benefit of no-till farming is we don't erode our soils. 
but science is showing that it doesn't really capture a whole lot more carbon. So this, so we don't really have a competitor. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.